Thank you very much, Andras. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the celebration is continuing and my smile is still on because today I had really the privilege uh, and honor to meet for my very first time with Tom Zudov uh, in person. And I'm really very grateful that he accepted our invitation to come to this meeting and uh, give uh, his talk and some advice uh, to the students. So let's uh, look at who is uh, today uh, 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 oh, your, sp your next speaker. Is actually, you heard from the earlier presentations how influential was Göttingen uh, and, and, and still is uh, in the studies. So actually, uh, Tom Zudorf was born uh, in Göttingen and actually in his childhood was spent in Göttingen and Hanover. And as we learned today also many, many times how influential could be a teacher in somebody's life. And it's not always coming from the same field when he uh, achieved the greatest success. So actually Tom studied music in his uh, youth in, in Basel and, uh, and uh, his most influential teacher helped him to, to, to grow. And after he of course reached the uh, decision process at one point uh, which way to go, but his curiosity uh, f uh, to luck for everybody moved him uh, towards science. And uh, actually, if we go further and look at his early years, uh, he went to school in Hanover and after uh, went to a medical school after the, the, the military service and after went to Aachen University, Harvard University and also then to the University of uh, Göttingen. So he was graduated as a medical doctor and I think plenty of uh, people realizes that how important to get understanding the biomedical things at, at the school and in plenty of times having an MD degree has to have a broad spectrum of knowledge what people can use later on. But it's always very, very difficult to decide after a medical school which way to go further because you can be successful also as a scientist and can be successful also uh, uh, in a clinician. And also Tom started uh, his residence in internal medicine and after uh, uh, a very short period of time he realized that uh, uh, he, he needs to choice between his, uh, during his career about the science part and, uh, and although plenty of times he, is not, he was not sure that way they're uh, 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 leaving out the, the, the clinical part uh, would be good but I think if we look backwards about his achievement we have absolutely no doubt that he uh, made an excellent decision. So his, uh, when he started his postdoctoral research fellowship, he was uh, working very much on the LDL receptors and also the cholesterol uh, uh, metabolism. And after uh, actually worked plenty of really giants, uh, especially with Brown and Goldstein, uh, who received later on the Nobel Prize um, in physiology and medicine in 85. After he became to be a Howard, a huge uh, medical uh, institute uh, investigator and continued with work and he moved to uh, uh, Stanford University in 2008. His research field is, is, is really, really remarkable because as we heard today how important the vesicles moving towards the cells and open up and release the proteins which communicate with another cell uh, 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 it's very, it was very, very important in neuroscience, his, his really research, uh, what he has achieved. And uh, actually he is uh, one of the pioneer uh, of the machinery mediated neurotransmitter release in presynaptic uh, plasticity. And he, he worked really, really a tremendous uh, effort on this field. So later on, of course, when he, he moved towards beside the vesicle transport, he is also working on the uh, uh, synaptotagmins, and he also, after that, working on how the synapses working and how the cells collaborate with each other. So his ma major question is how the brain uh, actually functions. But uh, in his career, he felt very important, and I strongly believe that, that it's, it's right that the technical advances, how the cells are working, it's very crucial to understand. 
at the very beginning. And sometimes you don't have an uh, euphoric uh, experiments when he realizes that here is a huge discoveries and plenty of times young people also think, oh, when I will have the, the experiments will change the, the world. Plenty of time, this is not a single experiment, but the many, many experiments which strategically uh, planned in advance, and he's one of the best examples, how a, uh, a really, really uh, several uh, experiments from different angles can lead to really, really huge discoveries. Uh, in, a, in, 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 in addition, of course, if, uh, as I am a clinician, I can see plenty of bad uh, uh, practices when we start looking at illnesses, diseases, how to treat it, when uh, actually we don't even understand the basic uh, mechanisms. So he's a clear uh, advisor for, for in, in, in science that, of course, before we go to treat Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, or any other, then we have to understand the basic function also of the brain. And as we heard also from all the presenters actually today, when they discovered what they discovered at that time in basic science, they of course knew that it's impactful, but the usefulness come much, much later in the period. So this is very important for everybody, for you, and also for policymakers to understand that at that time the basic science doesn't need to have usefulness, purpose, on the time of the discovery, it needs a curiosity, actually, to understand uh, the function of, of the cells. And I think if you open up a textbook, uh, also in, a, in, in, in biology or, or also at the university, and you see a synapsis uh, between the brain cells, how they function, I think uh, uh, this kind of knowledge wouldn't have been uh, done without uh, uh, an unbelievable involvement and discoveries uh, uh, without Thomas uh, Zuthoff. Uh, of course, for his uh, research, uh, uh, not surprisingly, uh, but as far as I remember, he got the phone call when he was driving in Spain in the car and he had to stop because he was so surprised that uh, he received the Nobel Prize. Uh, uh, actually, he, uh, with uh, Randy Shackman, received the Nobel Prize for this physical transport, which I think is, is, is far away uh, was uh, uh, deserved. Of course, besides the Nobel Prize, he also received several prizes. I don't know whether he has a lifetime parking uh, place at Stanford or uh, it, this is just only for for it's, it's in Berkeley, but definitely he has several uh, 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 prizes what he, he definitely deserved. And luckily he is not only staying in the lab, and we, we, we see many, many scientists that after the discoveries, the Nobel Prize, they are going back, but he is very uh, 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 keen and very kind to share his knowledge among young people like you are here. Uh, if we go uh, uh, further and we look at uh, his, his work, he is really, really um, uh, think that uh, those should go to science and also medicine who enjoys it. You can't see it as a work-life balance that we work hard in science or medicine and after you enjoy your life. If you don't enjoy actually what you are doing, and you, you think it's a work, it will not really moving. But I think the involvement, and again, I just have a big tribute for the secondary school students who are here. I think without good teachers and mentors, you can't be really successful. So at the end of the day, I, I think I am one of the most gifted scientists in the, in, the, in the recent years to meet so many brilliant people. I learned plenty of things, not only the scientific results, but their thinking as well. So I just can say billions of thanks also for uh, Tom to come to here. And I know that he still has connections and he is visiting Hungary Oftenly, uh, uh, some months ago, he was also at the Institute for Experimental Medicine uh, with Zoltan Nusser, and now he's coming here. So we are so happy that you are com coming so many times in Hungary, and I wish to 
uh, see you in later event as well. So I would like to kindly ask you to deliver your talk today. Thank you very much, Tom. <laughs>